if a baby is born with hearing loss, they are not getting clear access to speech. Their brains are ready to learn language, so by not giving them full access to sound means that it will impair their ability to develop spoken language. I'm part of the Canadian Infant Hearing Task Force. My research focuses on early hearing loss detection and supports for infants and young children who are born with permanent hearing loss. Comprehensive support for infant hearing involves not only the screening part, but also the services beyond that if the child does not pass the screening. And this is really the point of the work that we're doing. In Canada, currently, we only have six provinces out of 13 that provide comprehensive infant hearing health care. The goal is, is to have all of the follow-up steps to support the child and family should an issue be identified. And that would include assessment, uh, intervention supports with technology and language, and monitoring and management how that child is doing. Hearing health is not on the radar of policymakers. So I'm very dedicated and motivated to make it change. I am learning more about how to communicate with policymakers uh, in an evidence-based way so that I can learn how uh, science can support policy. This is not new, uh, it's not experimental, and we have all of, all of the mechanisms. We have been doing it in Ontario for more than 20 years. I connect with other provinces who don't have these mechanisms to try to understand, well, how can we get those mechanisms in your province? We can share our policies and procedures and they can be modified for that particular context in that province or territory. What drives me is, is to see families and babies succeed. This has lifelong impacts, and because we know earlier is better, putting that hearing aid on a six-month-old for the first time is an amazing feeling, and it's, it's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> <laughs>